The Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We had a stormy evening last night. We talked about the potential of rain and thunder showers that could move through along a cold front, and that's exactly what happened. The good news is we didn't see any severe weather. There wasn't a ton of rain with this system, and at this point, it's already on its way out. We're at 53 degrees here in Terre Haute with an overcast sky. No rain being reported here currently. In fact, it looks like from this point on, we're going to see those rain chances diminish to nothing as we look ahead at the mid morning hours. Here's where that front is situated right now. Again, it's going to continue to push its way off to the south and to the east for us this morning. So just a few lingering showers along that frontal boundary before it completely works its way out here within the next few hours. Futurecast has all the rain out by 8 o'clock this morning, so it should be at least a dry commute for you as you head out the door this morning. Here's 8 o'clock on Futurecast, and while we do keep that cloud cover around during the first part of the day, I do believe we'll get in on some sunshine looking ahead at this afternoon and those temperatures are actually going to be a little bit more mild out there today. Topping on near 70 degrees yesterday, we topped on near 76 here in Terre Haute and that number. Well, it was the warmest that we've seen so far this year, but I think we're not done yet. Tomorrow is actually looking to be a little bit warmer than yesterday evening or yesterday and actually going to we a rebound back into the upper 70s by the first part of this weekend. So for today in your day of planner, we'll start off with an overcast sky, but clearing throughout the day, getting in on a mostly sunny sky by about 5 p.m. 65 degrees at noon and 70 your forecast daytime high through the overnight tonight. Those skies actually really clear out for us as we drop back into the mid 40s to kick off the day on Saturday. Saturday will be a mixture of sun and clouds through a good portion of your day, but check this out the upper 70s. That's where we will top out on Saturday afternoon. Definitely going to be very warm. Numbers that we haven't seen in quite a while. I think it's welcome for many folks across the area. We see the setup, the uh, atmosphere becoming a little bit more unstable as we had through the second half of the weekend. And by the first part of Sunday, we have this frontal system that's going to be hanging out just to our north, eventually push southward through the day on Sunday, bringing rain chances, a few storm chances all the way from Sunday through Monday evening. And that's going to be a pretty potent cold front. To a company that rains Sunday into Monday, we're going to see a big drop in temperatures. Well above average today through Sunday with highs near 70 through 77 degrees. But that cold front pushes through Sunday night into Monday morning and it turns a lot cooler for next week with your daytime highs back into the 50s and even the upper 40s. It's looking like next Tuesday. So these 70s, they're not going to be that long lived. We are looking at a big cool down as we head into the first part of next week. So for today, a few isolated rain showers can't be ruled out, although I do believe many of us are done with the rain for today. Skies turn partly cloudy this afternoon. We top out near 70. Continuing to clear that sky out through the overnight as we fall back to 45. Pretty mild through the overnight hours. And then a rather warm Saturday shaping up as we rebound to 77 degrees. A partly cloudy sky before the rain moves in Sunday into Sunday night and into Monday. There's a big drop in temperatures from 76 to 56 degrees. In fact, that's going to happen during the first part of the day on Monday. We'll spend most of the day Monday in the 40s, turning a lot cooler. 49 on Tuesday, but staying dry through the middle part of next week.